Alrighty then. Successful indie author, five minute focus. There's Stanley. Episode 332 Death of an Author. This is something we all have to think about because uh, no matter how much we try, no one gets out alive. So we're all going to pass on. And what does that mean? Uh, yeah, I hope that isn't a revelation that you're going to die. Uh, you will. Of course, we try to put it off for as long as we possibly can. However, it's going to happen. So what's the one, number one most important thing that you can do? Have a will, especially if you have an estate. And you have an estate because you have property. You have intellectual property. Uh, if you've published even a short story, you have intellectual property. Because what if at some point in time somebody wants to take that short story and turn it into a movie? Now it has a value. Think of uh, Philip K. Dick's. Uh, do electric sheep, do androids dream of electric sheep, a short story. However, they made it into a big movie and a whole franchise. So uh, money to the heirs, money to the heirs. So make sure you have a will. Uh, number two, access to your author accounts with passwords and phone for two-step verification. So hopefully you have two-step verification turned on for the optimal security of your stuff. So you don't lose your uh, your Amazon account because hackers are are merciless. Uh, you pass away, and within a day, people are trying to hack your account and steal your stuff. Very nice. Uh, welcome to the detriment detritus of humanity, but they're out there. Protect yourself and make sure your heirs have your access so they can get into your accounts, change the passwords. And start taking a look at what your empire looks like. Even if you only have three books, it's still an empire. You have intellectual property. <clears throat> Make sure all of your ducks are in a row. I have a spreadsheet that will take my son quite some time to figure out. But, uh, hey, it's still there. Uh, welcome, to the, uh, welcome to the jungle. So number three, contracts and recurring payments. I publish other people, so if I were to pass away... Somebody else would have to step in and make those payments. However, I am going to upgrade my will and say that my for my co-authors, I am going to, for the stuff that I've published, I'm going to transfer over the uh, uh, IP rights to those co-authors. So I'm going to give them the, uh, the titles. So then we don't have to worry about other things and then they can pay me. Uh, until such time as they pass away, then uh, who knows? That'll be on their will. Um, so contracts. Make sure you have all your contracts in one place. I have them on my hard drive. I had them on my backup. I have them on Dropbox. I have them uh, in all kinds of places, but I have them there. Yeah, it would suck for somebody to go digging through my stuff and try to find all of that, but it's there. Um, and I do have the one spreadsheet, the one master list has everything listed for every book, who did the artwork, who did the cover, who did the uh, audio, and so on. What are the important numbers, the ASIN, the ISBN, those things for each title. And uh, another thing you can do is you can assign a literary executor within your will, uh, like I have, I and I published a codicil to the... Uh, 20 books and 50k main group it's in there in the files section I, I can copy it back up again but uh, a codicil for a literary executor and keep in mind that your ip uh, some people recommend that you list all of your ip in the codicil well if you're publishing a book a month that sucks and it's not going to work what you have to do is just hey if it's in my name it's my ip and here here's my amazon author account so that's why it's very important that your heirs get access to your Amazon author account or your other accounts. If you're using uh, a draft to digital or publish drive or any aggregator like that, uh, or uh, you going direct to Barnes and Noble and Apple, you make sure that they can get there and see what intellectual properties you have. Uh, you go to your KDP bookshelf and it shows because if, even if you didn't publish it, you have claimed it and there it is, or the uh, author central on Amazon. You can look and say, Hey, here's all the stuff. He, holy cow. Uh, for me, because of short stories, because of uh, paperbacks, because of omnibus editions, I have something like 250 works, maybe even 300 works on Amazon's Author Central. So good luck to my heirs. Uh, you're, you're taking over my empire as a full-time job, but uh, good on you. It's a full-time uh, income, too. So uh, do it. Get it right. 
Also, something that uh, I don't have but I, I, I need to is a living trust. The living trust is something I can fund now, and then with my uh, uh, royalties once I pass, that can all go into a living trust to provide a consistent income for my heirs, uh, my wife, my son, my, my grandkids, uh, as I see fit. But I can start it now. And the good thing about now is then it makes it much easier later uh, with the IP. Because if you don't publish new books, your your revenue is going to drift off until you do something magnanimous. And then all of a sudden it will pop back up again because you run a big sale or something like that. But uh, Living Trust, you could just keep funneling money into that and then it will pay out regularly as opposed to the highs and lows of being an author where you have your big month and then you have some, some low months and you want to keep that revenue consistent for your heirs until they figure it out and figure out a way to keep uh, increasing it, finding more readers and the stuff that the challenge that we live through every day. So there you go. As an author, uh, you're going to die. Uh, don't take that as a shot. Don't be shocked. Uh, if you're 20, great, you're going to die. It's just you try to put it off for as long as humanly possible. But still, in the end, uh, uh, the man with the sigh comes and gets you. Make sure your ducks are in a row for your heirs. Make sure they know what's going on. Even if they don't know how to manage a, uh, a publishing empire, they can figure it out just like you did because here's all the stuff and here's something to work with. So there you go. Peace, fellow humans.